Well, we'll see how LSU responds after a, another top 10 victory. This time they're going on the road to an Arkansas team. They got slapped around last week by Liberty. The line's only three here. Yeah. If Vegas sees this as almost a toss-up. And, and I wonder, too, if they're looking in a hangover game for yeah. LSU with, with that big win last week, what that meant for LSU's program in the context of the Brian Kelly era, the SEC West. They are now in the driver's seat in the SEC West. And even more for all the pieces and all coming together. I mean, a freshman making the play ultimately to push you over the top. A transfer quarterback playing the way Jaden Daniels has over the past few weeks now. They look to be legit, and it's all coming together. I'm just concerned that maybe Arkansas, who, look, K.J. Jefferson's dealing with a banged-up shoulder. All reports are that he's going to play in this one. He's going to be closer to 100%. Arkansas is a physical team. They have a tough style of play on the road. Not an easy place to win. A little concerned with laying the points there, but I'm going to do so with LSU. I think they're legit. I think they're one of the more talented teams in the SEC, and that talent and the momentum rides out in this one. I think everything tells you you have to take LSU in this spot, and they're you know they're a much better team. They've had this massive turnaround to their season. I mean, it looked like the I mean there was a lot of people critical of the Brian Kelly hire after they got blown out at home for their second loss of the season against Tennessee. Yeah. And man, you have changed the perception of that. He's done a phenomenal job of getting this team to where they are, but it feels like. LSU should be a touchdown favorite, and they're not, which tells me this is when you have to get on the home dog here, and I do agree with you. K.J. Jefferson, he is the type of quarterback that can take over a game physically with his legs, also with his arm. That Liberty game was ugly, and, I, and it was down 21 nothing. They actually made it respectable and almost came back late, but they were getting absolutely demolished. I think it all comes down to K.J. Jefferson's health, Rocket Sanders running the football. I think the physicality of this game, I think they can slow it down, too, and try to establish a line of scrimmage. Their defense is pretty physical as well with Barry Odom uh, as a defensive coordinator there. I think this will be an ugly game coming down to a field goal at the end, so I'll take those three points. I'll be curious, said about Hooker and how he responds after a loss, obviously, in the previous matchup we talked about. K.J. Jefferson threw two picks for the first time in his career, again, versus Liberty. He kind of... Scratch your head. I mean, all credit to Hugh Freeze and, and Liberty for the job they did last week, but Arkansas has no business losing to them with, I think, the way they've played this year. The record's not indicative, I think, of how good Arkansas could be. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.